Welcome to DOI for Homeowners. We're mother-daughter projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we are back at Steph's house and we're improving the look of her shower by tackling those hard water spots, removing old caulk and putting in some fresh caulk. I will let you know that when I moved into my house, the shower saw was not looking great. Um, I probably needed to replace it then, but I didn't have the budget to do it. And now I'm kind of like, well, I'm going to move on to my house one day. Do I really want to put in that time and money into it? So that's why we're just taking some improvement steps, but the shower saw probably could just go ahead and be replaced. So again, all the tools that we're using, materials and tools, be linked in the description below. So let's get started. The first step was to remove all the old caulk. We use a variety of tools to achieve this goal. First, you'll see this plastic razor blade, which is one of our favorite new finds. This is much better than metal as it won't scratch my aluminum frame. Another tool we use is called a black stick. It's great for getting into small crevices. We also use a traditional caulk removal tool, but we are very careful with this as it could easily scratch the aluminum. We had some stubborn areas with calcium deposits on the top of the caulk. Some areas also had some clear silicone, which again, we're using the black stick to remove. Before we recalked, I found this product called Quick Glow, which I read works for glass and aluminum to remove hard water spots. All you do is put a little on a microfiber cloth and work it in until the product completely disappears. I also used it on the aluminum frame. It was hard to get good footage of it working, so we headed to mom's house. You can see water spots on her chrome shower frame and glass. As she worked it in, those water spots disappeared. You can really see the spots here, and as she works it, it really becomes clearer and clearer. And this really shows before and after. Wow, you can see her so much better. Once I cleaned up my shower a bit, I moved on to recocking. I'm using white silicone caulk and a Ryobi battery power caulk gun. I chose the silicone because it says 20 years mold and mildew resistant and I don't want to do this again while I live in this house. I cut the tip off the caulk tube, poked a hole to break the seal, and set it up in the caulk gun. You can definitely use a manual caulk gun, but we've not had good luck with that. we found this Ryobi battery power version is a must have tool for us. On the side you can adjust the speed as you see me doing here. All ready! Here I am starting inside the shower. You can see I get a nice even flow with this caulk gun. Yep, I made a little fumble here. I should have started on the other side as the caulk gun hit the wall. No worries, I cleaned up the glob and put some soapy water on my finger and smoothed out the caulk. I did a couple of passes and I went a little higher on this side as the aluminum has been damaged and I wanted to try to cover that up as best I could. I continued that process inside the shower. I have the footage for it, but I'm not gonna bore you with all that. Another tip, we used canned air to blow away the caulk debris before we moved on. On the outside of the shower, we decided to add painter's tape to get a cleaner line. And we continued the same process. When using painter's tape, you can get a little bit more messy because anything that gets on the tape will go away once you remove the tape. We got a nice smooth line. Now for some before and afters. The corner of my shower before, and here's the other corner. Much cleaner. It's not perfect, but it's much improved. This is the outside of my shower before. And I wanted to cover up that rusty part in the middle, and we did that with some clear silicone caulk. The inside of my shower, you can really see the damage to the aluminum. And the after, much improved, I was able to cover up that damaged spot. What we learned. You probably saw in the video where the aluminum frame around the glass was really discolored and it was pitted in many places. And in the course of research, we found out that probably somewhere somewhere along the line, someone used a harsh product on that aluminum, something like CLR, lime away, or even vinegar. All of that can eat, eat away at the soft aluminum. And once it eats away, that's permanent. 
as I was using the caulk gun, I realized it was easier to actually just kind of go through the motion before I actually lay the bead of caulk down because sometimes the gun would get in the way if I started from one angle or the other. So um, practice the movement before you actually do it because that will save you some globs of caulk as you saw all that happen. I am no, no pro at that at all. <laughs> One of the things we did learn was the more light the better. You need to see what you're doing. And we ended up using this light by Milwaukee and there are gonna be more details in our written post. <laughs> In the video you saw me use a product called Quick Glow and I found that just after I was doing re research about how to clean my shower. And it's not a product that's actually made for doing the shower but it works perfect for the glass and for the aluminum because that was the thing I was concerned about was I didn't want to get any more damage mm -hmm. to the aluminum. Um, it's actually made in the United States, it's a family company, it's an eco-friendly product. It was really interesting as I was reading about it so we'll put a link below to their website so you can check out some more information about that. If you have any great tips for cleaning a bathroom, please leave those in the comments below so we can all share <laughs> See you next time. Bye. If you're like me and you don't like to clean, but you know you need to clean, then you're probably going to want to check out this video about how to clean your shower head. And if you want to see where Steph's shower started, check out this wet and forget shower cleaning video. <laughs> And if you want mom to come to your house to do some cleaning, let us know in the comments below.